Most of us have seen a calligrapher perform his magnificent calligraphy art from our ancestor or at a public place. Their art has been so good that it draws the attention of the viewer. By using only brush, ink and paper, what makes the calligrapher so stunning and alien? Chinese calligraphy is a form of calligraphy widely practiced and revered in the Sinosphere, which often includes China, Japan, Korea, and Vietnam. The calligraphic tradition of East Asia originated and developed from China. There's a general standardization of various styles of calligraphy in this tradition. Chinese calligraphy and ink and wash painting are closely related, since they are accomplished by using the similar tools and techniques. Chinese painting and calligraphy distinguish themselves from other cultural arts because they emphasize motion and are charged with dynamic life. Calligraphy can be classified as an art or discipline. Asian people paid great attention to calligraphy. It was the essential whereby a candidate could manifest his literary talent in the emperor examination, for it gave a first impression to the examiners. When they take the emperor exam, part of the exam is judging on the calligraphy. Children of high officials had to learn and try to write a good hand. Even emperors themselves were good at calligraphy. For example, the versatile emperor Qianlong in the Qing dynasty from 1644 to 1911 has left us many examples of his handwriting on steels in temples and palaces. Calligraphy has endured more than 2,000 years and evolved into five main ways of writing each with different techniques, which is Zuan Su, Li Su, Cao Su, Xing Su, and Kai Su. Even today, they are still followed and practiced often as a hobby. It all started with oracle bone writing, Jia Gu Wen, the oldest extant form of Chinese writing, which is carved on ox scapulas and tortoise black strands around 14th to 11th century. Large seal script Ta Zuan also developed during the Shang and Zhou dynasties. Although the term large seal script generally refers to all the scripts created prior to the Qing dynasty in 221 before Common Era. The script used in the court of Emperor Qing Shi Huang 221 before Common Era, small seal script Xiao Zhuan, who not only united China but also standardized the Chinese written language. In this style, all brush strokes are applied with even pressure, giving the characters a uniform line quality. Today, the generic term seal script refers to small seal script. The script then evolved into clerical script, Li Su, which is the official script of Han court characterized by longer horizontal than vertical brush strokes, which gives the character a flattened rectangular look. Later on, cursive script Cao Su occurred. It is admired more for its beauty and speed than for its legibility. This script developed into two stages. The first stage occurred during the Han Dynasty when scribes sought a faster way to write clerical script and simplified characters by omitting certain strokes. In the second stage, the script evolved during the Wei and Jin dynasties, when the older Han style mixed with influences from semi-cursive and standard styles. In semi-cursive, Sing Su derived from the clerical script. This style is considered less formal and is primarily used in personal correspondence. The main script which normally used by people now is standard script, Kai Su, a style developed from clerical script sometime between Eastern Han and Chao Wei dynasties. Unlike the flattened style of Li Su, characters are more vertical and horizontal and the beginning and end of each brush stroke is clearly defined. Stylistically, the script matured under six master calligraphers, whose writings still form the foundation of modern characters.
Writing was so valued by the Chinese that they called the most essential implements for the art, the four treasures, the brush, ink stick, ink stone, and paper. These tools were used by both painters and calligraphers. There is other utensils used by calligraphers such as a brush holder with brushes of different size, a small bowl of washing brush, a brush rest, craft seal and container of red seal paste. When a painting or a piece of calligraphy was finished, the artist would sign it and stamp one or more seals beneath the signature. Having beautiful tools for painting was not only a pleasure to itself, it also indicated a respect for the art of painting and calligraphy. Consequently, beautiful containers of ceramic, jade, bamboo, lacquer, or metal were created specifically for use in painting and writing. One must know the technique to hold the brush before starting to write calligraphy. When executed with skillful technique, a single ink brush stroke is capable of conveying vitality, delicacy, and contemplation, the essence of Chinese philosophy and spirit. It is this life force of qi that the artist aspires to capture and express through brush painting. Holding the brush midway up the handle, with the handle placed inside of the index finger, supporting it on the opposite side with the tip of the thumb. The tip of the index and the middle finger rest on the top of the hand, while the ring and the pinky finger are placed behind. An open space is left in the palm of the hand, allowing a full range of movement. The fingers should not touch the inside palm. There is also an ink technique in Chinese calligraphy. Traditional Chinese artists use a special black ink, mo, that is said to contain infinite gradation of colour. This ink is made from a mixture of burnt pine soot and glue that is moulded into an ink stick. A small amount of water is placed in the ink stone reservoir which is commonly made of water-resistant rocks such as slate. The ink stick is gently ground with the water in a circular motion to create a deep black liquid. A brush is loaded with a light wash of ink in order to use a side ink technique. The brush is held in an oblique position and sides of the brush are deep with ink. The technique is used to paint subjects such as lotus flower or bamboo. A few common brush strokes is a fast speed with light pressure, medium speed with medium pressure, slow speed with heavy pressure. Combination of light and heavy pressure and flying white, fei bai, which is at fast speed a little moisture. By using different ink techniques, gradation of ink can be created within single brush stroke. Before starting to learn calligraphy, there is basic brush stroke to write calligraphy, such as horizontal stroke, small hook stroke, sweeping left stroke, long hook, sweeping right hand stroke, vertical stroke, and a dot. This basic brush stroke can be written into one Chinese character. With the evolution of Chinese calligraphy, calligraphers seek the art to a new level by mastering the writing styles. In the older style, which is 4,000 years old, the word is easily recognizable by the looks of the character which is called seal script. Several hundred years later, the character has evolved in a completely abstract shape. The character then fit neatly into an imaginary square, with each stroke is executed carefully. When written quickly, strokes blend together and the character become most eligible but very dramatic. Many calligraphers favor this style because of its expressive qualities. The last style to be developed is originated around 2,100 years ago. It is the style used in everyday writing. The ascending order of the style is Zuan Su, Li Su, Cao Su, Xing Su, and Kai Su. Somewhere around in the historical city of Malacca, there is a person that has very high interest in art especially in calligraphy. She is very well known to the people around Jonker Street for her kindness and her talent that she possesses in art. She is He Lan Gui, born in December 1971. She lives like an ordinary person among us, hoping to be loved and achieving aim in her life until one day. She faced a great loss in her entire life, her two upper limbs. She lost her two upper limbs in an unfortunate accident in 1990. As a result, her life dropped to the lowest disappointment. 
everything is in disorder and life would be great if she still have her limbs. Her Langue loved calligraphy and art since her younger days. Her interest in art is so high that she manages to get up and achieve the highest level in calligraphy art today. How she managed to achieve such success? The key here is never give up. With her fighting spirit and diligence in bond, she rises up and strives by writing calligraphy with her defective lip. She ties the Chinese calligraphy brush to her limb and started to relearn calligraphy after facing such loss. With years of practice and practice, she managed to create a writing style that was solely hers. The writing style we're able to see with our own eyes today. After years of surviving with the defective, she is now very independent without counting on others. Every Friday, Saturday and Sunday, she will open her store by her own at Jonker Street. She will carry her bag by herself while an old man will help her to set up her table in front of the Hainanese Hall. Her kindness pleased the people around here that they are willing to share the places with her. She offers her service as a calligrapher to earn her living. Her passion towards art and calligraphy not only raised her up, but also admired by the people around here, especially tourists around the world. She is able to use the name of a person and create a poem together with the names in it. Just by using the names as the starting point, she can write a beautiful and meaningful poem regarding careers, love, health, fortune and many more. She will explain the meaning to the person after finish writing it. Most people who walk past her store will stop for a moment to see her fascinating calligraphy including kids and also teenagers. People who love arts and calligraphy will chat with her and share their experiences together. When the clock strikes 4pm, she has to move her table to another location nearby because the place she's having now will be used by another person in conjunction of the Jonker Walk, which will open every evening on the weekends. By using only her defective limb, she can carry the table with the help of another person to move to another location. As the saying goes, no pain, no gain. She can carry the heavy metal stand by using her arms to another location. Imagine the pain if we carry the metal stand by ourselves in that condition. She is very well dependent on herself to survive. All the basic self-care is learned in order to survive. From combing her hair to answering phone till having her meal. It is all possible if we never give up and open our eyes to see the world that we are lucky enough to have hands and legs compared to some unfortunate people out there. Because of what she lost, she appreciates the beauty of what she possesses. The miracle of arts in life. She is He Lan Gui. Even though the Chinese calligraphy has evolved for so many times into the simplest form of writing, but calligraphers keen to seek a higher level to master the difficult style of writing. This makes Chinese the oldest writing in continuous use, with the history spending almost 4,000 years. But not every written Chinese character is a piece of art. It takes many years of training and copying of Asian examples to become a calligrapher. When executed by a true master, calligraphy is not only a beautiful writing. The way it is written offers a glimpse of the character and temperament of the artist. Few works of art are able to establish such an intimate relationship between the artist and the viewer. This is why calligraphy has been held in such higher status for a long period of time. 